today on Drawbly. <gasps> wow. Wow. We are not drawing. We are going to take a look at uh, something we've wanted to do for a little while, which is taking a look at somebody else's work and talking about how amazing it is and yeah. what we love about it and uh, you know what we can learn from them. I had literally 10 seconds notice that we were going to do this and Ben just pulled all this onto the screen right now. So I'm reacting in real time like a YouTube reactor, except I'm not showing my face, which I feel like is a big draw of those. That's okay. We're gonna talk about Can Liu. Can who Liu. Who is a principal illustration artist at Riot Games. Wow, hey, I recognize some of the kanji in that name. Leader Sei. That's right, yeah, and we've been studying Japanese. Sei I believe that that Haku. is uh, not j uh, Japanese though. Oh, well. That's uh, fair. Considering they're from Singapore. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> then. <laughs> so wow. we're gonna check out some of this art, and there's something really specific with, um, you know, kind of the overarching theme of what they create that I want to talk about. Uh, but let's get it. Like, is there anything that you're just like, oh my god, let's look at that? Okay, let's. Two words. Two words. Painterly. Lighting. And now there's more words. Oh my god, more, more words, words than more, more than two words. Like, Action, Action, gesture, contrast, colors. Oh my goodness. I think I've seen, if you hit play on those fish, I think I've seen their little animation they did. You definitely have seen this. And it's, it's amazing. amazing. Wow. Wow. So if you're not following Can, uh, definitely go give them a follow. They create, obviously, very beautiful artwork. Um, yeah, so the thing that I wanted to talk about with this artist in general, I've been following them for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, they create and, you know, upload new stuff almost every single day. That's amazing. Uh, but they don't share it here on their art station every single day. But what I want to talk about is what they have created here, which is a world, a, a complete, you know, thing that they have made that is their own that they continue to create for. And something that I want to figure out for myself is what is going to be that thing that I lean into for learning art. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're learning how to draw and we're learning how to paint, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, like, I, like what is that driving force, that thing that you are going to apply those skills to? Yeah. I get a lot of enjoyment out of just drawing and painting, mm -hmm. but Obviously, I want to take those skills and apply them into creating some bigger thing. Mm. Whether that's, uh, you know, leaning into a specific aesthetic or leaning into, like Ken has done here, where he's created his own world full of amazing artworks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look, wow. Like, look at that. That's wow. so cool. That is so cool. All of oh these. My goodness. All of these are just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, they remind me of like your marker studies. My marker, marker studies. studies. Abby loves the marker studies. Wow, these are so amazing. The lighting is absolutely beautiful. That's Even cool. the physical medium sketches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean. So what I am being like, I'm drawn to many things here. What I'm particularly wow, that's amazing. What I'm looking at a lot. Um, is I'm trying to look at the hair because I really want to be able to get better hair on characters and specifically rendering it. I'm really bad at it right now. And I love the sim because I feel like I always think it has to be so complex. And it is complex, but- Look, look how simple all of this is. Like yeah. look how rough all of this is. Yeah. Look how simple the paint on the face is. Look how simple the paint in the hair is. Yet yeah, it reads really well. This like, I mean, it just speaks what to their mastery. What is it about this mastery. that's still so appealing when we, like if we zoomed in on this glove here, I'm pretty sure we'd be like, oh, that's just a little glove. Well, Can understands that it's not about, you know, the, the little things. It's about like the, the bigger read of this mm -hmm. whole thing. And mm -hmm. they've obviously done a fantastic job of doing that. Like, look this at, is so cool. You can really tell a good painter, I think, when you can see like how simply they apply things like these underlit areas, mm -hmm. like hitting this um, scapula on the back. Yeah. Like, it's just masterfully done. Wow, this is cool. Look at her cyborg legs. That's awesome. This is amazing. I love all of his kind of like big backlit scenes. Oh my goodness. So 
I'm really encouraged looking at these with the notion of continuing to study like uh, overall composition, um, color, but knowing so firmly here that you do not have to be an expert well, I mean, he is an expert renderer, but like you don't need to take something fully rendered to a fully rendered point to may have it still look amazing. Yeah, exactly. Like th these are, I mean, they're rough. Like they're, they're rough, almost sketches. And that's mm -hmm. what he calls them, daily color sketches. Mm -hmm. So it just goes to show. Look like, at this. Look how insane that that's is. Look so at the good. like the lighting is so. Look so at the good. rock. Look at just the rock even that they're sitting on. We gotta paint some rocks. We gotta paint some rocks. This is so fun, and I'm so inspired here. His grayed out, his blurred out backgrounds, the clothing. Ooh, look at these rain ones. Look at how he's done like wet. See how her shirt is a little bit see through because it's wet, and you can tell that it is. Wow. <laughs> so this is uh, just something that we've wanted to do for a while. And you know, I, I think it's really good to look at the artists that inspire you and try to break apart some of these things and figure mm -hmm. out like, what do they do that, you know, we can kind of take something away from yeah. and try to apply to our own art. Yeah, what speaks to you about this? And I hope that you'll begin to see as we study these artists and show you us studying these artists, you'll see how it feeds into our overall improvement. Because if you are seeing what inspires us, I feel like that's something you would never see of like a famous like internet artist. You're not seeing the part where they're not just creating art, but looking at other art, even though they talk about it. Like Loish talks about the artists that inspire her, for example, I'm always talking about Loish but I'm never looking at her, look at them, figuring out what she likes about them. And so this is the part we're sharing with you of an artist's journey, if you will, of um, studying and learning from other artists. Yeah, I think that's a perfect place to end this. Yeah. Okay. And uh, <laughs> with that, if you guys want to see us talk more about, uh, you know, some more artists in the future, let us know down below. Mm -hmm. Click that subscribe button if you're new around here. And comment below with ideas of what we can do to improve as artists. And if you have some art that you would like to share online, share it with the hashtag Drawbly. We'd love to check it out. And this is the part where we say goodbye. Goomba. I am so excited to try to incorporate even a tiny fraction of what we've studied here. Even the smallest artwork. amount. Yes. One day. One day we could get there. One day we will.